hello guys welcome back to this youtube channel this video is gonna be a short one i'm gonna be breaking this beautiful trade down we took this setup on volatility 50 index on a 15 minutes time frame this is an ict 2022 model a turtle soup cell inside um, a daily bearish bias okay and as I always do, I'll show you the signal that we took with the VIP members. Okay, this was the setup. To them to sell, I give them TP1, TP2. And these are entries or executions. Okay. So let's quickly break this trade down. And as I always do, I start my analysis from the daily time frame. So let's go to the daily time frame to establish our order flow or bias on the daily time frame what do you see the price has been bearish we broke structure to the downside pulled back to make a lower high broke structure to the downside pull back to make a lower high broke structure to the downside right so price action has been bearish right if we are bearish then i'm targeting this low as what well sell side liquidity because obviously price has been bearish or that flow in the daily chart has been bearish and the obvious liquidity pool is resting here retailers are going to see this as what well, support so as you can see the first time price go here it gave this nice rejection so support has been tapped and price has started to reject retailers are going to see this pattern as what well, rejection candle at support so they are going to start buying stop losses are going to be resting right below this low right but smart money would always trade against retail concepts and since institutional order flow is still bearish okay i was expecting the price will continue to go down to take the stop losses resting below these lows so now bias has been established on the daily chart let's go to the four hour chart to see if the four hour structures support our daily analysis or bias so you build your and a bias or you build your narrative downward okay from a higher time frame to lower time frame so looking at the four hour chart you can see that smart money manipulated um this resistance here you can see that rejection 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 those who sold here stop losses are there we take them out and begin to break down okay and this is the sell side liquidity that i wanted to see price taking we took it here rejected Everybody that bought to place stop loss below this low, okay? So that low becomes our new sell side liquidity pool, okay? That low becomes our new sell side liquidity pool. So what we saw on the four hour is that um, manipulation of this high, it is this low that led to the manipulation of that high. Now we shift market structure down here. This becomes what? A breaker block, ICT breaker block. So let me mark that out. So we have a breaker block right there. And we also have this fair value gap. This candle's high to this candle's low. That's a fair value gap. We also have this indecision bullish candle. That's what a mitigation block or a flip zone. As you can see, these indecision candles are reaction to this zone where support and resistance traders were tricked to buy and then we stopped them out so that's institutional manipulation happening there right so that flip zone is a very powerful zone so this whole area is a very powerful area a breaker block where from this low we manipulated previous high once we break down it becomes a breaker block powerful area inside the breaker block we have a fair value gap so now we have two pdras nesting and inside this breaker and fair value gap, we also have a mitigation block or a flip zone. So three solid zones here. Very high probable area to look for sales. Okay. And what is the bias? The bias is that anybody that try to buy from this support level here. Okay. After getting this bullish and golden candles, placing their stop losses here, smart money will attack them. So that's the bias. You are looking for sales around here, right? So price hits the area and as soon as price hit the area that was when i began to look for at entries or um sell setups okay now let's go down to the one that chart 
to see what happened after price hit um after price hit the fair value gap so you can see that price hit the fair value gap and on the one hour chart a bearish market structure was established right failure swing breakdown and so bearish market structure was established right there right and so we have this um mitigation block so marking that out we first of all came to it here and sold but as you can see this was what um pure consolidation building up liquidity for smart money to manipulate and then to pair their orders to the downside now let's go to the 15 minutes chart and you're going to see this manipulation very clear okay so one hour bearish order flow has been established we have one hour um mitigation block so refining this on the 15 minutes you can refine it to this candle here so price um comes into the mitigation block one more time takes buy side liquidity of this high okay ict 2022 model if your daily order flow is bearish you want to be looking for bearish 2022 models on lower time frames you shouldn't be looking at this as bullish market structure to buy to start buying no if you are using the 15 minutes structure against your daily order flow that's a big mistake than your files do so know your daily uh, order flow and then your four hour order flow and trade 2022 models in in flow with that okay so one hour mitigation block has been tapped one more time buy side liquidity of this high has been swept and now we have an aggressive or a displacing market structure shift below this low right so after the market structure shift here i saw this initiation candle now this initiation candle is a flip zone okay it's a flip zone it's a reaction to this bullish order block before breaking structure to the downside okay aside this in the session candle which is a mitigation block we have this um breaker block as well right so we have this previous high and from these lows we swept that previous high so once we break down below that low it becomes your breaker block so nesting um, very powerful area which is being nested with a breaker block and a mitigation block so as soon as price hit the level um that's when we begin, uh, we started selling and our stop loss was right above that high okay right above that high now our first profit target was below the low that i showed you on the higher time frame um this low okay this four hour low that when uh, retailers saw rejection on the daily support, they started buying stop losses below here. That was our first target, okay? And we hit it perfectly. The second target that I have here with this box is a simple standard deviation. So, um, from this high, okay, from this high to this low was the previous leg that was manipulated to the upside before the breakdown. So if this is the previous leg manipulation, once we start to break down, expect price to at least reach the same deviation lower. Okay. So that's how I got it um, from that high to the low that was manipulated. Okay. So this whole ring that was manipulated, I was expecting price to sell at least one standard deviation of that same price below it. So let me first of all get rid of this box. Okay, so this same box, we can copy that same box and place it below that low and expect price to at least sell to one standard deviation. So exactly this line was our um, second TP. And as you can see, we blasted through it all. Blasted through it all. Um, so um, that's it for this setup. Well, it's 50 index, beautiful trade, stress-free. Um, one of my best... Um, that task for this week it was actually my loss took very um so, um took um, less time to hit our targets and i'm very happy with this trade if you want to learn how to do this um, on a deeper level um, um i'm open to mentoring you if not keep watching these free videos trust me these free videos alone can make can make you profitable okay you just have to put in the um the work and time and hard work required to get there okay give give this video a like 
um, motivates me to do more of this stuff for you guys.